Kazakhstan, you may have heard about it, you may have not heard about it. It's a country located in Central Asia, and there's some uh, serious riots and protests going on there right now that seem to be bordering on a potential revolution. So what is going on there? Uh, these things are usually not an accident. How does it fit into prophecy? So just a quick explanation. Kazakhstan is a uh, uh, large-ish uh, nation in Central Asia it used to be part of the uh, Soviet Union, but now it's an independent country. And they're located uh, kind of to the north of uh, Afghanistan, Pakistan, that area over there. Um, there's been some major riots happening there, uh, but they seem very organized. And this is what's catching uh, people's attention as uh, multiple groups simultaneously attacking key addresses like uh, prosecutor's offices, former residents of the president, uh, storming the, the Capitol. Different from what happened in uh, January 6th uh, of uh, last year, which was seemed much more spontaneous. This was uh, organized, choreographed, and uh, multiple attacks in multiple places at the same time. That takes organization, it takes some financing, and uh, that seems clear, but what was unclear is who are the players? Why is this happening? For those of you familiar with uh, world history, recent world history, you know that a man named George Soros has been responsible for instigating what are called color revolutions or socialist revolutions in a lot of countries around the world. And some would argue that's what he's trying to do here in the United States next. But is that what's happening in Kazakhstan? Well, um, usually all you have to do is look at who is allied with who to uh, understand what's happening. So at first it was not clear, but now it has become clear. Uh, President Putin of Russia is apparently closely allied with the current government of Kazakhstan. He is very unhappy that there is a threat to this government. And why is Kazakhstan important? It's important because apparently 40% uh, of the world's uranium production is from Kazakhstan. Kazakhstan produces 40% of the world's uranium, not only necessary for nuclear power, but for nuclear weapons. So whatever country controls Kazakhstan has easy access to uranium. That's a big deal. Uh, they produce more uranium than the next three suppliers of uranium put together. Numbers two, three, and four. So it is important who uh, they're connected to. And apparently the current government is connected to Russia. So Russia is obviously not behind this. China has stepped up and allied themselves with the current government as well, which only makes sense because uh, we, for some reason, Americans think that China and Russia are enemies and they're not. They are very close allies and they are strategically working together to overcome the United States. As we know, this is going to culminate in an eventual invasion of the United States where they attack us simultaneously along with some other countries. You don't have to look any further than what happened with the hypersonic missile test recently. China is the one that perfected that technology. They tested the hypersonic missile, something that our military hasn't been able to do successfully yet. And a few weeks later, Russia announced mass production of hypersonic missiles. That can only happen if China gave them the technology. So, and we know they have uh, they they uh, combined their intelligence services years ago for the purpose of uh, taking us on. So the fact that Russia and China are both allied with this government makes sense. So who is uh, trying to overthrow the government? Who could be behind it? Well, there's only two other possible forces: a Western allied uh, group, meaning George Soros or some other group. Uh, that I would call part of the Whore of Babylon, European, American, CIA, something like that, or uh, Erdogan, president of Turkey, who's trying to build the Islamic Caliphate. From the beginning, it seemed like it had to be one of those two players, but I believe it has become clear. Um, latest reports that I've seen say that a lot of these protests, a lot of the riots, and, uh, and even some officials within Kazakhstan are working closely with agents from Afghanistan. That means the Taliban. And who is closely allied with the Taliban now? Erdogan, Erdogan of Turkey. 
Uh, immediately after we withdrew, he was the one who came in and successfully nailed down Afghanistan as an ally. And he uh, began working with them. That's why you had the Islamic State attack uh, right after we left, um, because he became involved. So at face value, what it appears right now is that Erdogan is trying to expand his empire and he made a strategic move and he's trying to push Russia and China's influence out of Kazakhstan and put his own people in place so that he can have access to uranium. And uh, it makes perfect sense for the slow building of the beast, the Islamic Caliphate that we believe is coming. Anyways, that's my take on it. That's how I think Kazakhstan fits into uh prophecy. I hope this was helpful and uh, we'll have more videos up soon. Thanks for your patience. I know I've been a little slow getting these out lately. I've been fairly busy, but uh, working on a number of them right now. All right, y'all have a great day.